students a very good afternoon to all of you today we will discuss about quality of information so quality of information information is a vital resource for the success of any organization future of an organization depends on the quality of information because based on the information the information is disseminated wisely and the various decisions are taken now according to wang and strong the dimensions or the elements of the quality of information is of four types number 1 is intrinsic number 2 is contextual number 3 is representable and number 4 is accessibility now the intrinsic quality deals with the accuracy objectives their reputation and their believability contextual information contextual information deals with timeliness completeness amount of information their value added perspectives and their relevancy now the representation information deals with the format deals with coherence deals with compatibility and also deals with interpretability now the last option that is accessibility deals with access and security now various authors gives various list of matrices of accessing of information let us generate the most important characteristics of the quality of information now we have figured out the ten most important characteristic of quality of information reliability timely relevant accurate sufficient unambiguous complete unbiased reproducible and comparable let us describe all these qualities one by one number one is reliability it means it should be verifiable and dependable the information must be verified and it should be used from various resources it means the information depends on another resources now second one is timely it it must be current and it must reach the user well in time so that important decisions can be made means informations can be made timely so the management can, can take decision accordingly third one is relevant <clears throat> relevant means the information is a valid information and 
it should reduce uncertainties next point is accurate it should be free from errors and mistakes true and not deceptive free of errors and mistakes it must be true next point is sufficient now it should be adequate in quantity means the information must be in sufficient form it must not be incomplete the information should be adequate in in quantity so the decisions can be made on this basis next is unambiguous and ambiguous it should be expressed in clear terms in other words it should be comprehensive comprehensive means it should be according to the point now now the next point is complete complete means it must meet all the needs in the current context it fulfills the need in current context unbiased in other words we can say that it should be integrated it should be impartial free from any bias it must be integratable next is reproducible reproducible means the information can be obtained after some time it should be used by documented methods documented documented methods on the same data set to achieve consistent results now last point is comparable it means it should be of uniform collection analysis content and form format uniform collection analysis content and format hope you will understand this lecture thank you very much stay in tune for next lectures